Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Monday, July 13th, 2015. We're already almost to the middle of the J July. This month has gone really fast, hasn't it? Well, looks like it's going to be a little bit more active once again for the start of this week with the threat for sky showers and thunderstorms, as we have seen for much of this summer. The good news is that I don't think we're going to see much in the way of hot and humid weather conditions. Uh, warm, certainly. Temperatures are pretty much near normal for this time of year. But nothing that is out of the nor ordinary. As far as temperatures this morning, we range from the basically mid to upper 60s over the northern tier and over your suburbs. Upper 60s to lower 70s along the immediate coast and lower to mid 70s in your urban areas. Winds are from the west and southwest over the Philadelphia metro and from the southeast and northeast from the New York City metro as we have a series of disturbances moving through the region. The winds are generally around 5 miles per hour, so light and variable for the most part. We're going to take a look at the latest surface map. You can see we are pretty much in between three different air masses. We have a polar air mass over Canada. We have a modified polar air mass pretty much set up over our neck of the woods all the way back through the Great Lakes. And then you have a tropical air mass set up over the southeast back through the southern plains with some very hot temperatures and humid conditions. So if you're looking for hot and humid weather, head south of this stationary front and you will find plenty of it. Meanwhile, these waves of low pressure will move along this stationary front to the south of New Jersey keeping the threat for scattered showers and a few isolated thunderstorms in the forecast for today, tomorrow, and for Wednesday. On the infrared satellite pitch, you can clearly see these disturbances riding along this stationary front. And you can see they're kind of riding a base of the trough here, which will show up very nice in the water vapor in just a moment. And as a result, we see these clouds kind of build here with a few scattered showers as a threat throughout the region. For right now, we're not really seeing much in the way of showers, but uh, for the most part, what we'll see by the afternoon is those showers and maybe a few isolated thunderstorms develop this afternoon as a result. On the water vapor satellite picture again you can see one of those disturbances moving through. And as a result there could be a few isolated showers moving through the Philadelphia metro and New York City metro this morning but that's a pretty much about it. In fact on the water vapor satellite picture you can see another strong disturbance setting up over the northern plains and around the plains of Canada. And you can see that they just keep on diving south along this stationary front. So as a result, we'll continue to see these showers and thunderstorm threats through the middle of the week until this stationary front gets pushed a little bit further south. So let's look at the overall forecast for our region and get an idea of what we're dealing with here. Well, on the European model guidance from the Penn State UL website, again, for the most part, areas of low pressure will be moving through the region today, tomorrow, and for Wednesday, leading to the threat for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures will average pretty much near to only slightly above normal. For today, look for high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s over the Delaware River Valley and lower to mid 80s along the coast. Temperatures for tomorrow morning will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s throughout the region, again, pretty much where we should be for this time of year. And high temperatures tomorrow will be in the lower 80s along the coast in the New York City metro and mid to upper 80s in the Philadelphia metro. Now upper 80s are more like around 87, maybe 88 degrees at most for the region. So again, we're not looking for any tremendously hot conditions in any way, shape, or form. Pretty much near normal for this time of year. Now on Wednesday, look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 70s, high temperatures in the mid 80s along the coast and mid to upper 80s over the Delaware River Valley. On Thursday and Friday, high pressure will be in control with scattered cloud cover and slightly cooler temperatures. Look for low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s on Thursday morning, high temperatures in the lower to mid 80s. On Friday, look for low temperatures in the mid 60s, high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast and lower 80s over the Delaware River Valley. On Saturday and Sunday, a few disturbances will move through with the threat for a few widely scattered to isolated showers. Otherwise, most of the region will remain dry this weekend with low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast and lower to mid 80s over the Delaware River Valley on both days. So looking like a 
rather pleasant weekend if you could dodge a shower or two with temperatures averaging slightly below normal for this time of year with low humidity. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Thank you for following NY and JPA weather, and as always, stay safe out there.